Hey guys, Carl, Sites for Contractors. It's another quick video on uh, optimizing your website. And one of the things that a uh, contractor should have, or any tradesperson on their website, is photos. You want to have good photos. And a lot of contractors miss the boat when it comes to optimizing their photos. And this is especially true for guys that built their website themselves, because they just don't know about this. Or for guys that have hired a, a lower cost web developer who is inexperienced, or who just didn't have the time to actually get this done. So what do I mean by optimizing your images? Well, for one, when you take a picture with your camera or your, your smartphone, it's going to assign a file name to that picture. And you'll all know what I'm talking about. When you look at your pictures on your phone, it'll have like a, a number, you know, like DCS 5280126.jpg and, or .jpg, sorry. And that doesn't tell a search engine anything about that image. So when we take images and we load them onto one of our contractor's websites, we take all those images, there could be a couple dozen, there could be quite a bit more, and we want to give them all proper file names. So if it was uh, a landscape job that you did, maybe the file name, it's a picture of a retaining wall. So you want to have a you know, retaining wall dash xyzcity.jpg. That gives your picture an actual descriptive file name that tells search engines what the photo is about because they can't look at your picture and tell what it is. You have to tell them what it is. So image file names are really important. You want to have them descriptive and you want to make sure that they they tell search engines exactly what your image is about. Now another one that's really important for images is your alt image tag. And this isn't something that you add on your images on your computer like when you upload them from your from your phone or your camera. These are things that get added into your actual website. So when you're building a site, there's usually and you upload images, there's usually a field and it asks you for an image description. That's your alt image tag and it's important that you fill that out. Google looks at those alt image tags as well as your file names to help determine what the image is about and if it's relevant to a particular topic. Now by having good file names and by having good alt image tags that are descriptive for your photos, you increase the chance of your photos being found for image searches, which is big. That's, that's a big deal in Google, um, especially if the trade you are in is a visual trade. So you're doing home remodeling or you're doing landscaping or you're doing construction where people are painting, for example, where people are looking at the visuals of your work and they go to Google and they punch something in that might be related to your keywords. There is lots of instances where we'll have a contractor, he'll be the only one in that area that's got optimized images. So literally when one of those image maps or image packs show up, it's usually five images or so in them, they can own the entire thing. Every image in there is one of theirs. And that's clickbait. That gets people to click your links and come through and visit your website, especially if they like the work that you're posting. So optimized images are a big deal. Another thing that we see a common mistake with images being uploaded to these sites, and this is usually when the contractor does it themselves because even the most basic inexperienced web designer understands this, and that's the file size. So on a standard digital camera, your file sizes are pretty big, you know, especially a smartphone. You might be uploading pictures to your site that are two, three, four, five megabytes in size, and that's just way too big. And it, what it does is it slows down the loading time on your site to the point where people are waiting like s seconds and seconds roll by and your site still hasn't appeared or the image still hasn't loaded and they're gone. They're going to leave your site, you get a higher bounce rate, nobody wins. So you want to make sure that when you're taking photos and uploading them to your site, um, make sure that you're resizing them and optimizing those photos so that they have a good file size. And what's a good file size for a website? Preferably under 250 kilobytes. So a megabyte is 1,000 kilobytes and one megabyte is just too big. You don't want images that big. Ideal 250 kilobytes or below and there's lots of software out there that you can use to resize photos and I might do another video on that um, in a tutorial showing you specifically how if there's some interest. Um, so again just another video hopefully it helps. Any questions, comments about images and image optimization let me know and I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks guys.